In this video we're going to look at how to divide fractions. And the trick is that we never actually divide fractions at all. We simply learn how to convert division problems into multiplication problems. And it's really simple to do. To change a division problem into multiplication problem, we change the divide symbol to a times symbol and we flip the second fraction. So flipping a fraction over makes what we call a reciprocal. And that reciprocal has another name. Reciprocals are also called multiplicative inverse. So you may see in your homework or in your practice problems where they ask you to find the multiplicative inverse of a number and all they mean is for you to flip that fraction upside down. So here's our first example. Let's work 4 fifths divided by 3 sevenths. So to do this, we are going to convert it into a multiplication problem. The 4 fifths will stay the same. The divide symbol will change to a times symbol. And 3 sevenths will flip over and become 7 thirds. So this problem and this problem are really the same thing in two different forms. They both have the same answer. So this one's easier to work, so that's why we do this. We'll At this point, we'll look for any top or bottom matches we could cross out, and there aren't any here. So we'll just do top times top is uh, 4 times 7 is 28, and bottom times bottom gives us 5 times 3 is 15. And here we have an improper fraction, and we're just going to leave this improper because we don't have any mixed numbers in the problem, so we don't need to put our answer into mixed number form. So it is perfectly okay to leave this in improper form. So just as a reminder, any simplifying must be done while you're in multiplication form. You cannot mark things out, the cross numbers out, while you're in division form. So wait until you change to divide, or change divide to times rather, and flip the second fraction. So here's an example. I have 6 25ths divided by 8 ninths. And if I didn't know, I might start trying to cross out the common factor with the 6 and the 9. But you cannot do any crossing out while you're in multiplication form. So first, let's um, change divide to times and flip the second fraction over. Now I can cross things out. So I look, I see that 6 and 8 both contain a factor of 2. So let's break the 6 down into 3 times 2. And uh, I could break 25 down into 5 times 5, but since there are no 5 factors in the top, that's really not helpful. So let's uh, leave the 9 alone, and let's break the 8 down into 4 times 2. So the reason I did that is because I knew that then I would have a 2 in the top and in the bottom. So we'll cross those out. And that's going to leave us in the top. 3 times 9 is 27. And in the bottom, 25 times 4 is 100. So this is not an improper fraction. Um, so we don't even have to wonder if it could be changed to a mixed number because you know it's, it's not even improper. And we know it's fully simplified because there are no common factors in the top and the bottom. And now let's divide a few examples together. Here's the first one. So remember, we never work division problems. We always change them to improper fraction form. So here we go, 2 thirds times 15 over 7. And if I look, I see that 15 is a multiple of 3. If I break the 15 down, I'll have a 3 that I can cross out with this 3. So I've, got, I've still got my 2 thirds, and my 15 is now 3 over 5, and or sorry, 3 times 5, and then I've got over 7. So now I can cross out the 3's, and that'll leave us 2 times 5 is 10 in the top, and 7 in the bottom. 
And that's improper, and it's okay to leave it as an improper fraction. Let's do another one. 3 fourths divided by 5. So this is going to be 3 fourths times 1 over 5. Because I've remember the denominator of a whole number is 1. So here I flipped that whole number over. And nothing here will simplify. So I've got 3 times 1 is 3. And in the bottom, 4 times 5 is 20. Okay, third example. 5 fourths times, or divided by rather, 5 fourths divided by 3 eighths. Let's uh, leave the 5 fourths alone. Change divide to times. And flip the second fraction. And now, do you see anything that will cancel in the top and the bottom? And I do, because we can break down 8 into 2 times 4. If I do that, the 4 I get here will cancel this 4. So here I've got 5 times 8, so I've broken it down into 5 times 4 times 2, and in the bottom of course 4 times 3. These 4's will now cancel, and in the top then I get 10, and in the bottom 3. And one last example on this page. Let's do 2 thirds divided by 3. So that's going to become 2 thirds times 1 over 3. Now that I've got it in multiplication form, I can see that the 3's won't cancel at all because they're both in the bottom. So I'm going to end up here with 2 times 1 is 2, and 3 times 3 is 9. Now we're going to work a couple of examples that have mixed numbers in them. So remember, on all mixed number operations, we always change the mixed numbers to improper fractions before we start. That's the only thing we're adding here. So let's look at 4 and 3 fourths divided by 1 and a half. So the first thing is to change them to improper fractions. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 plus 3 is 19. So that's 19 fourths. 2 times 1 is 2, and 2 plus 1 is 3, so that's going to be 3 halves. So notice at this point it's still a division problem. All I've done is change the mixed numbers to improper fractions, but it's still division. So the next thing I have to do is change the division problem to a multiplication problem. So we'll change divide to times, and we'll flip the 3 halves over and get 2 thirds. Now I want to see if I can cancel out any top-bottom pairs, and I see that here 4 is made of 2 times 2. So if I factor that 4 into 2 times 2, I'll have 2's in the bottom and a 2 in the top, and we can cancel a pair of 2's, and that's going to leave us 19 in the top, and in the bottom 2 times 3 is 6. Now this would be okay to leave it this way if this were not a mixed number problem but we'll need to switch this back into mixed number form. So I'll say 6 will go into 19 three times with one piece left over. And so this makes 3 and 1 sixth. And here's a second example for you. 3 and 3 eighths divided by 2 and 1 fourth. Let's convert 3 and 3 eighths to a improper fraction. And that's, uh, let's see, 8 times 3 is 24, add the extra 3 on top, that's going to make 27 over 8, divided by 4 times 2 is 8, and 8 plus 1 is 9, so this makes 27 eighths divided by 9 fourths. Our next job is to change this into multiplication form, so we'll have 27 eighths times 4 over 9. Our next job is to cancel out any top-bottom pairs that we can, so I'm going to factor the 27 into 9 times 3, and in the denominator I'm going to factor this 8 into 4 times 2, and our 4 is still here and our 9 is still here. So here's our 27 times 4, and on the bottom here's our 8 times 9. But notice we can cancel a pair of 4's, and we can cancel a pair of 9's, and all that leaves us with is 3 over 2, but we need to change it back into a mixed number because our problem was a mixed number problem. So 2 will go into 3 once with 1 left over, so that makes 1 and a half.